Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeo. Well, go on. But y'all, stop what you're doing right now. Like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you name it. We're on it as Boss Talk Podcast 101 everywhere. But if you want to see our full-length interviews, check out our Patreon channel and check out our YouTube membership. That's the only place y'all can go ahead and support us and check out our full-length interview before anybody else even see it. So if you, want it, if you don't want to miss it, make sure you check it out. Man, listen, man. We got, hey, listen. Y'all want to know why Boss Talk 101 different, man. We got a treat in here today, y'all. Y'all don't understand, man. It's the South. Real That's talk. why Boss Talk, the number one syndicated podcast out of all of them. Because Real none talk. of them do this right here, man. Real I got sure. my boy Bad News and special guest Pokey Bear on here for the Big first Pokey time. Bear. Well. Big Pokey Bear's in the house, well, man. Well. It's been a long time coming, man. Long time coming. Awesome, bro. It's been a blessing, man, you know. I appreciate the love I get from all the people around the country, you understand me, what we doing, everything. But it's about bad news right now, you feel me? Man. So, uh, I need everybody to be on point. You understand what we doing right now with this JSP situation, you feel me? Man, it's a bad news, man. You know me and you, we talk all the time. We man, we talk yeah, a lot. And, like and, family, man. Man, I, I ain't going to lie, be watching you, and I don't know who that little old lady is with no back that you had on that video. <laughs> 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 she, hey, she, 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 she the infamous head and nobody. She the infamous, no, 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 no. She, look, she the infamous crooked. They call her crooked. Infamous crooked. Man, she look, everywhere. Look, 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 she everywhere. She I'm looking for her. I can't find her. Her page. You broke her for me. That's why I can find her. When I first seen her, I said, "What the hell, man? You know this? This nigga done pulled a move on me. Can you make it roll? Roll, roll, roll." Man, I, had, so, yeah, I so. had a good time, man, just basically watching that fun and energy y'all boys were yeah. bringing. And after that, she kept going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she ain't gonna stop, man. What she the hell is she? Where's she, she from? Ass in Florida. You're gonna learn today. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody know her. A lot of people, Every, yeah, when, you look, when you read them comments, everybody, oh, that's Miss Cricket, that's Cricket. I'm like, Man, everybody Dang. know her, bro. Everybody, everybody know her. her. Out, bro. Everybody know her, bro. I said to myself, who the hell is this woman? <laughs> I said, this, this boy done got a woman with no back. Just straight up come and up through here. She, and then she gonna flex on you. What, what? She you, gonna, you see when she drops to the floor? Her whole back uh -huh. hit the girl and she pop back up. I said, uh -huh. wait a minute, grandma. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, grandma. Man, y'all like, different, man. Like hey, I said, man. like Pogo guy was told, man, you got to sell yourself. You got to sell it. You got to sell it, man. You wow. got to sell, sell it. yourself, man. You got to sell yourself. Man. You got to sell it, man. You guys have y'all y'all come together for a lot of different things. But I know how my wife is. You want to know a little bit about it? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Get in I, know the about, I know a we lot We know about bad, bad news. news. He family, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> we don't. Do, where where <laughs> he from? And all, we don't know. Yes. You've been learning today. Pokey. Where are you from? Pokey Bear is from. I'm from Pine Grove, Louisiana. Hey! hey. Love Louisiana, man. Yes, I am. I'm on the outskirts of Baton Rouge, you feel me? And uh, I'm a country boy, you know what I'm saying? Man, solid. Laid back, laid back, you know what I'm saying? I don't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just all about my music, you know what I'm saying? I love the blues and I love Southern Soul. I love rap. I love all that. You know what I'm saying? When come to music, you, you're dealing with punk and bad. So where did you me. love music from? Did you get it from your mom or daddy? Who well, did you? Who I, inspired I think, you to I, love I think it? it kind of started in church. Church? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, uh, and where I'm from. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you had to go to church? You got to go to church. Okay. And um, Monday, Wednesday, and, and Friday. Friday we were preparing for Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we had revivals, we had all kind of stuff, and uh, that's why I got the music into my veins and what I like to do, and and I always wanted to be a vocalist. I mean, you know, I, I could have played keyboard, I could have played drums, I could have played anything, but that never thrilled me. I always wanted to be the one on the mic. Mm. Man, sing. Man, that, I, that, nothing else mattered to me. I just wanted to be on the mic. So you did a lot of solos in church? Of course I did. Of course I did. <laughs> yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. And, uh, <laughs> it kind of led. So when I went to when I went to high school, when I got to high school, okay, you know you do the uh, 
you know, the talent shows and stuff uh -huh. like that. So my thing was, I got to kill the talent show. Mm. <laughs> so Whatever I, song was I got to kill the talent time. show. <laughs> uh, we had to do it. And um, I kind of got into that. And then once I got out of high school, I had a choice. I could have went to Southern University for four years. I had a scholarship. And um, my music was working so well at that time, I was like... Uh, scholarship for music? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, no, not for music. No, well, no. what did you get a scholarship for? Just to go for? to school. And, okay. And, you know, but I, I, I started doing music and they started liking me. That, and I got an opportunity to go to L.A. Mm. Who reached out to you? Do you remember? Um, the person that reached out to me, Darnell Jones. Oh, he wow. He reached out to me at that time and... Um, no, Stoudemire. I'm so sorry. Oh. Not Jones. Stoudemire. He reached out to me, and I went to L.A., which I already had my auntie staying out there, so that was kind of like a scapegoat, so I ain't have to worry about... Hotel or no else to stay. Okay. So once I came out there, my people didn't even know about it. Mm. I never told them. And um, I went out there, and I went in the studio, and I done my thing. And it was terrible. Really? You bombed. <laughs> it was I bombed. Because you were nervous. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. No. It was terrible. I thought my career was over. I said, I ain't even got no career. I done came all the way to LA. I'm stuck out in LA. This is gonna be the dumb way. I, I didn't know where it was. <laughs> this is gonna be the dumb way. <laughs> I can't go back to school and I done turned down the Pell Grant, all that shit. Yeah, you really <laughs> I'm sorry. So but you were about time, 19, 20. Yeah, I was 18. 18, I was 18, 18 and um, Okay. So I stayed there and I was a rapper. I was hip hop. So uh, oh, okay. So um, I kept going and I met different producers and nothing ever worked in LA. I tried it. I tried it over and over again and it just never worked in LA. How long did you stay? I stayed in LA eight years. Wow. wow. Stayed that long trying and nothing popped off. South tall. Central LA, Gardena LA, West Side LA, East Side LA, Poke Bad. Y'all remember me? And you, did, and you didn't get, so you didn't get drawn up in, the, in all these gangs um, and, um, and stuff? I got fortunate. God keep blessing me through all the turmoil and wow. all that. I want to, as long as you keep God in your life, you're going to learn. I love that. that. I'm just saying. That's and um, right. uh, what happened was I used to work security for a strip club. Mm -hmm. And they had rap shows during the thing. So... The guy, the owner, <laughs> he told him, Pokey can, can he, he can kill it. And they like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I did a show there with, at the strip club. Mm -hmm. at, the, at the strip club, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, I just already you ain't even gotta pack it out. It's already but packed I didn't out. rap, I sung. Oh. What did you sing? <laughs> what, the <laughs> what the hell did you say, Poke Bear? I did not say this so what is the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something and them people was like, he ain't no rapper, he can play. <laughs> now, all this time, I've been trying to be a rapper. I wanted to be like Run DMC, LL Cool J, and all the guys that's in my town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize I sang. Uh. That, that night you did. But that night, that particular night, I see. And I sung, y'all wouldn't believe this, I sung R. Kelly's song. Which one? Which one? Step in my room, 12 play, nigga, around his own. <laughs> Bump and grind. Bump and grind. I sung R. Kelly's song. Slow jam. Get out of here, nigga. Hey, Mr. DJ. Hey, I can hear you saying that. I sung R. Kelly's song. I'm in there. It's a strip club, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm all in the movie because you know the dance you, you couldn't sing it without the dance you got the dance so so you giving the whole show good I done <laughs> <laughs> I done that song <laughs> ever since then everybody been trying to get me in the studio that's all it but at the same time I was going through personal situations and I ended up moving to Denver, Colorado. Mm. Denver, Colorado, out of all places. Denver. Mm. Yes, I did. I Before we were legal. I moved yeah. to Denver, Colorado. I was 20, 20 by 25, 26. Um, so but I, is there motion this? out there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I went out there, you know, you know, with my girl and stuff. Oh, and, with your girl. Yeah, and we, I was doing good. We were doing good with my little music, doing little local clubs. And I was just singing 
mm-hmm. other people's songs. Okay. And I wanted to be more than that. I'm like, I'm tired of singing, you know, saying these other people's songs. I want to sing other, I want to sing, sing your own stuff. songs. But so, were you writing at that time? I started writing around two, no, no, 19, I'm going to 19. Uh, <laughs> 19, uh, 19, don't 19, do that. 19 was some good years, right? It's yeah. 96. Ooh, that's, that's, ooh. Okay. Ooh. That's when I started writing. And I came on my first time, I, I call it, uh, uh, my first time, I'll just kill you. Uh, my first title of my album was, uh, I, I wasn't Pokey Bear then. Yeah. What was yeah. your first name? I called name? myself Big Pokey. Oh, Big Pokey! Okay. And when I done that album, it was like, it was straight rap, no no singing or straight nothing. Straight rap. And, and in Colorado, they, they was more like on the East Coast. You know, it was like, yeah. they like the East Coast rap. Mm-hmm. So it was like, man, I'm from the South. I don't know how to rap like that. So I had to compete with those guys. And it, it, it worked out. They it liked it out. because it was different. But at the same time, it didn't sell. It was like, yeah. no one wanted to pick me up because I was different. Wow. Yeah. It, out of all... That's what I'm saying right now is what I'm telling y'all. God is good, y'all. Let me tell you mm-hmm. something. I did all that traveling and struggling and going out there to different states trying to make it big. I didn't make it until I came back home. Mm. That's hard, man. When I came back home like the prodigal son. to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, had never stayed there before. I told you I'm from Pine Grove. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when I went to Baton Rouge, it was like, that's Baton Rouge City. Boom, what boom. year was that? 99. Okay. 99. And I uh, went out there and I had never heard their music. Uh-huh. Uh, like I said, they don't play that in Denver. Mm-hmm. Uh, so when I came to Baton Rouge, it was like. Different. How you do that there? Who's here? 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 And you loved it. What's going on here? <laughs> Boy, so hey. I was like, yeah, okay. So when they got to sing it, I was like, okay. It wasn't all hmm. that to sing it. So I said, okay. This is my path right here. I'm uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do singing, but that's when I my first dose to Southern Soul Blues. Who was it? Who? Was, how did you end up um, in Southern Soul Blues? Southern Soul Blues. Uh, Jackie Neal, uh, the Neal family, embraced me and. And brought me in, man, and um, Jackie Neal passed away over a bad situation. And wow. mm. Her nephew took, you know, he took me on his wing, and um, I've been singing Southern Soul ever since. Ever since. Let me. That's why you and this dang bad news get along so good because you used to rap. <laughs> so you, yes, you used to rap. Yeah, yeah. So when you see so this now, you be like, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make this shit work. Don't worry about it. We're gonna, work. <laughs> we're gonna make this. We're gonna make it work. <laughs> it's entertainment business. And one thing about entertainment business, uh, Southern Soul and Blues is stretched out so much to where now you have a lot of artists coming out <laughs> and basically uh, following my path. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't complain. Um, I take it as it come. But at the same time, um, I feel that um, this Pokey Bear brand, what I'm bringing now, is the different. It's a difference. It's showing you a uh, a different path. It's, it's showing you about love. It's showing you about hate. It's showing you about cheating. It's showing you about winning. It's showing you about losing. Everything. But when it comes right. to my music, it's all about something you can relate to. Mm-hmm. I don't sing about me. I sing about what I see. Mm. I sing about the people that that lost their daddy or lost their mom or. Uh, or someone that went to prison that you you know that took care of his family, but he had to go to prison because of a situation he couldn't. I, th- I talk about the people behind the walls that can't stand here behind his mic behind me right now. You know what I'm saying? I talk about all the people behind the walls because I've been behind the walls. So I'm, I let people know it's real out here. Um, being black in America is a situation. I just did a, I just did a show last weekend for Black Rights. You know what I'm saying? For the people. And uh, in Georgia, a man that went through the Black Holocaust. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you understand me. And uh, when you go out there, you really get a different perspective on what what's really going on, you know. And uh, 
every time I go on that stage, I try to set an example for a young man that is just disturbed and don't know what to do. He see me and be like, if he can do it, I can do it. I can, I can do it. I got to ask you about this banger, man. Are you feeling me? Yes. Uh, you and this, y'all, that's why man, I say y'all when come I met, together. When I met him. Are you feeling? When I met Bad News, I told Bad News, oh, you a rapper. I don't, I don't really deal with rap. <laughs> and he let me, I said, look, I say, let me again. I said, let me do the hook. And I, I gave him, I said, I'm going to give you a hook right now. But you're going to have to sell it. Well, what's the first thing I told you? Anything we do, what you gotta do? You gotta sell it. You gotta. Sell you gotta it. uh It's uh, not. We can do anything in the studio. Yeah. It could be a platinum hit in the studio. But can you sell it? And you gotta That's be a relationship while you sell it. And build them relationships. And once he took that, he said, "Uncle Poker, I got you." So you gave him the "Are you feeling me?" I ain't gave him nothing. That young man paid for it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking yeah. about let me, let me explain the hook something that you to gave you. him. The young man ain't come here. Stunting. He really want. He was really serious about his craft, and he was trying to do it. And he asked me for help. Wow. I told him my price. He paid it. That's so all. I gave him what he asked for. Okay, but when you gave him the hook, what did you give him? Just are you feeling me? And then he went wrote the off hook, that. I'm you feeling me off of what he had already shown me. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, I know they gave him a little bit. Yeah. You no, know, this young man had already had the song. Okay, I just put some flavor to okay. what he already had. Got oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. You understand me? And it ended up being something we never thought. We ended up doing a video in in Florida. In Florida. Was in, Florida. Yeah, in Florida. How was that? Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Let's talk about it. That was lovely. Awesome. It was lovely. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> it was bike week too. We was all on the, the scooters and everything. But we had fun. We got on the water. Got on the water. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. We had fun on that awesome. video. And that was uh, y'all vision for it. It came out exactly no, how y'all wanted. Everybody no, just came just, together. You know, oh wow! At the same everybody time, the sun went down. I'm getting booked. You know, I'm working. So we we was happened to be in Florida. I said, let's do the video. He had his cameraman. I say, go to work. Wow. We yeah. went and got rent them real thing because you can rent. Yeah, you stuff. know how Florida you rent all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. all that stuff. The rigs and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. So it was all on the fly. All yeah. on the fly. Wow. And we did the video, and after that, we dropped that the week. A week later, it was on it, and I think we got about mm, twenty one thousand views in about eight days. Wow. Mm. Yeah. That thing moved fast. And we yeah. was. I ain't saying we were messing around. It was just like, we was just doing something just to see what would happen. Yeah, and it just came it wasn't together. Like, it, like, it wasn't like we <laughs> planned for it or, you know, rehearsed for it. It was just like, let's do a video. And, and it came, came together. together. How yeah. long did it take you to come up with the song? <laughs> you already had a song like yeah, two yeah. Yeah, about, minutes. About 20 minutes, man. Don't take me it, about it, it, 10 it, it, minutes to write a song. I don't write. I don't write. I don't write. See, he, and he don't write, so all you got to do is feel it. I don't write. I don't, he's just going in. I don't, just, I don't write music. I'm, I'm going to let all you artists know right now. If you, gotta, if you got to put something on pen and pad, <laughs> you got some hustling to do, young man. Mm. I don't write on no pen and pad. I play the beat. <laughs> and I'm going to sing. For real. He going to sing, yeah. And proof is in the word. I got video to prove this. I never write on paper. But how long does it take you? Like when you go, it don't when you take hear the me beat? about, um, last song, about 25 minutes, 30 really? minutes. Really? Because after that, we worked together. We was working as a team. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, man, he said, what you say, You like pay that back and like yeah. that? Add no, this. no, 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 do it over. Do okay. it. And I do it over. Hit it with that. Yeah, I, I don't write on paper. Mm. How if I got to write on paper, I don't like the song. How did you come mm. up with Side Piece? Yeah. yeah, let's talk about that. I love that, that song. That's a big song. Like, how in the hell did you come up with that poker bear? Uh, who, who, who went poker through that? Bear? Who went you through that? You a bad nigga. Listen, listen that, that song team. right there said all. I'm going to tell you about me. My, um, when I grew up, my, my grandfather, he was a monster, bro. Oh, you. so that's <laughs> who it was about. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And my Papa LC, Papa LC was a monster, bro. I'll tell you, bro. And, uh, <laughs> I got a lot of cousins. <laughs> How the hell this song come about, man? Uh, but um, this young rapper came to me. Um, Cold Drink, uh, he was running rapping also at that same time. And he brought me this song. He said, I got a song. And um, Heavy was the producer at the time. And uh, he was like, we got a rap song. We want you to sing the hook. I said, okay. So when I heard the song, I was like, I said, I don't think that's. I don't think that's gonna work, man. 
<laughs> Ain't nobody gonna buy that, man. <laughs> I said, man, that needs to be See, a blue I song. I, mean, I was already doing such a song. I'm like, bro, let me do my thing on it, and you tell me what you think. And he said, okay, we'll try that. Uh, it took me about 25 minutes. It took me, I had to do two eights. No, two sixteens. I did two sixteens, and after I done the two sixteens, uh, I see, check this out. And when they heard the first verse and the second verse, they was like, kill the rap. You got to give me a little piece of that side piece. Side piece was I, actually, I go, I, side piece was actually a rap song. That. Yeah, that's a hell of a rap song. song. Yes, it was a rap song. How the wow. heck did y'all convert and, it? And they had already released it. It was already out, and it didn't do anything, so they tried to come back to me like, Poke, we need you saying I'm like, no, don't need to be like that. And when we did it my way, and that I blew I'm bragging, up. I'm not that bragging. Blew up. Up. It that song. <laughs> Bob. How long did it take? About a month. Cause we was in, like I said, we was in Baton Rouge, small town. But after that month, I got booked to Everything, bro. I'm talking about. I'm getting booked out because everybody loved that song. I'm like, you couldn't believe it. I, I was like, oh, man, man. Like, whoa, it was like. And was that your biggest song? I was song already, at that time? I already had a hot song. They called me Pokey. Right, that was hot. Uh, I'm in love with an older woman. That was already hot. Uh huh. But when I done Sabbath, that that's that's the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> that whole shocked the world. That's man, how he it was. took me to heaven. I was like, "Whoa!" It, it caught me off guard, but it was all in the focus of what I was trying to do. But I didn't, didn't think that. Was you ain't gonna think it happened like that. I thought they didn't like it. I thought they didn't people ain't gonna do no something about like cheating on your woman and stuff. Yeah, but when I done it. It's the way but you say it. Though. It's amazing. But, but, on but just how, like you said, things that you sing, somebody out there can relate to it. Yeah. I, well. When he asked me to do it, I said, okay. I said, okay. First thing I thought about my grandfather. And I'm like, okay. So I got to sing it in the way of what I know. So when I say, I must have got it from my daddy. Because it's, it's all, all in my jeans. jeans. See, I'm addicted to banana. And you know what, what I, I mean. mean. Mm. You see a rat with one hole. He's a poor rat. Poor rat. But I ain't really lump lump. I ain't going out like that. And, and that's how I'm like, man. man. That's and how my grandpa. Naturally. How about grandpa? I got that song in 25 minutes. It was done. I think wow. the hook is where that catch me. That's that, that's that hook. Man. That's his way. I left home. Mm. And my grandpa left home a minute now. <laughs> mm. And my papa, my daddy, my uncles. That's all we that's how we was raised. It's in country, man. That's all we got. You know so man? how you didn't fall in that footsteps? I, I'm fortunate to be in a situation where, I, um, when I grew up, it was all about education. So mm. I had to get my education together. And once I got my education together, I had to make a choice: go to college or do you. Mm -hmm. I decided to do me. Mm -hmm. So I took my education that I got from high school, and I took it to California. I went to a um, electronic. Um, college in California and it just wasn't it was teaching about computers and stuff like that and that wasn't my thing so I, I quit wow yeah I quit and after that I got me a job mm -hmm. and I've been working ever since I got a question um, I know that like earlier you were talking about that everything that you write you write about other people's situation things that yeah. people talk about I write so about forth. things that naturally but, happen yeah. but yeah. okay for rappers though a lot of rappers always say a lot of things that they rap about is always about them what they've been through in yeah. their situation they don't rap about it's like they feel like if they rap about somebody else's situation they're being fake that's real talk so how do you like the things that I you rap into that? yeah um, how, no I'm talking to bad news bad news so how do I? Yeah, but so the things that you rap within the Southern soul, Southern blues, you know, when you're mixing it, is everything that you're rapping about, about you? Because if you're adding pieces to what he's in his part, it's not really about you. No, like me, my rap is different. See, my rap ain't the gangster rap. See, like the gangster rap, you talking about you got a hundred bricks, a hundred million dollars, did that. My rap about making a woman feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to talk <laughs> their panties off. Mm -hmm. And I can do that very well, so... I'm rapping about me and a hundred other dudes out here. Mm -hmm. Anybody got a woman, anybody got a side piece, or anybody just got a little fling, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, oh, yeah. don't get it confused now. Um, he is fortunate enough to be with a person that 
I told him, uh, don't isolate yourself. Um, um, you're not in no, see, they like to put you in a box. Mm. Yeah. And they put you in this box and they categorize you and say that you're this type of person. Mm -hmm. When my nephew came to me with that, I was like, no. If that's what you want to do, we're going to do it. We're not, I don't call it his, his version of music. I don't call it blues. Right. I call it music. Mm. It's different. Mm. And we're balancing it in, in between those two different situations, R&B, Southern Soul, and blues. Mm -hmm. Because if you listen to all the other artists that's out right now, listen to it, categorize it all you want to, they sound the same way, but they can't do it like what we're doing. We're doing something different. We're giving, we're keeping that Southern Soul blend, and then my nephew coming with that rap that sounds just like any other rapper that do all the nah, boop, 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 nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah, we don't do we that. We talk about love. Yeah, all right. We talk about problems. We talk Dang, about some real life. No, you we know? ain't talking about all that. We talking about real stuff. So we don't like to categorize our stuff. I mean, when, you, when you talk about bad news, you, I don't want you to look at bad news as trying to come into blues and check. No, no, he's coming into blues showing his style because the other market ain't open. Uh -uh. You understand me? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how it all. works. That's all. So we got to have an opening. And guess who gave an open? Big poke mm. and bow. <laughs> well, and well. As long as my nephew keep breathing, he going to always have an outlet with me. Mm. Mean that word mm. that you heard that. Mean. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you going to learn Poke and bow. How'd you come up with good foot? Good foot, yeah, baby. Good foot. Let's turn it around. What? Uh, James Brown, baby. You oh, better, you better yeah, do your history. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better do your history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they used to call shit. it. I'm a, I'm no, he got a song. Oh, I'm going to have to come like James Brown. I'm going to have to come like James Brown on this one. They say, what you mean, Pope? I say, turn the goddamn push the button. And I get on the good foot. Hey. Uh, get on the good foot. Hey. Uh, break it down on the scene. Hey. Like you a sex machine. Mm. Hey. Wait a minute. Get on a good foot. Hooey. Get on a good foot. Break it down on the scene. Like you a sex machine. Mm. Wait a minute, mm. baby. Man. Mm. Uh, Big poking bear. Big poking bear. You gonna learn today. Listen, man. I, I entertain all of them. Old, I got more I got more cougars than a little bitch. Boy, you <laughs> learn today, boy. <laughs> Say, man, I'm telling you, my, my kin folks say, man, you had to talk to Poke and Bear? I said, yeah, I talked to Poke and Bear, hell. She say, for real? I'm like, man, I know damn well this woman ain't crazy. Oh, Poke and Bear. You have a lot of females that be crazy over you. You got a lot of, you got a lot of damn man, man. Yep. females. Yep. Yes. Yep. And 30% of my fans are kids. That's crazy. Remember the kids singing my they song. Love they love it. They love it. But how does a Southern, okay, because most Southern soul artists, cater to females. And I've seen on certain uh, Instagram posts and stuff like that when some of them be on, on, on stage and you actually see some males jumping up, singing y'all songs and do, how you feel when you have the males doing all of that? I, I love it. I love it. I actually love it. I, I, um, when a male jump up and show me respect, say, man, I love you, bro. Man, my, my, my wife is your number one fan. And he shake my hand, man, man, it's nothing like that feeling, man. Let me tell you something. When it comes to Poker Bear Show, these people come out here to see me because they know I'm a real, I'm a real brother, bro. I don't, I don't, I ain't with all that fake, you know what I'm saying? It's all about love with me, you know what I'm saying? I throw the L's up everywhere I go. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I throw L up. And, and that L don't stand for no gang. I ain't in no gang. The L stands for love. Man. And Louisiana. Hey. <laughs> you understand me? So everywhere I go, male, female, I don't care what y'all. <laughs> you come to see me, I'ma show you love. That's why you have never heard no confrontation with me with no fans. Because the fans come there to see who that Poke back. back. Hey. Mama that go that man. Yeah. <laughs> Sound <laughs> like a marching band. Sound like a marching Here band. Come and look, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, and I tell it. when I do my show, I tell all my fans, I say, I don't do this for me. I do this for you. Mm. Because if it wasn't for you, wouldn't be no me. Man! 
You gonna learn the day, boy. Man, so, hey, all right. so, so, so listen, man, you see a lot of people doing the trail rides and stuff. Like, like that's a lot of the people that follow the Southern Soul market. Like, right. Do y'all think it's going to be as strong this summer and, and this? Oh, just, my goodness. Strong and strong. Did you just say, what did you just say? Is it going to be as strong as it's man, been being? Is it man, moving? If I don't be on the B-E-T award, <laughs> you're telling the truth, too. Bye. I'm gonna burn that old damn thing down. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Give it my like, credit. Play with me. Cause ain't nobody selling out. Look at my numbers, boy. Look at all my numbers. Ain't no one can stand with me. All you rappers, everybody that's doing your thing, look at my numbers. Mm. I got five number one albums. Five. None never been nominated. Man, that's feel cool. me. And I'm still coming with hits. Play with me. No one has done what I've done. And I've not got my credit. But guess what? I don't complain. I just keep working. Mm. Mm. And, and you get to learn today. Do you get your mm. fulfillment like from the from the from the from the from the, from the people? That's yeah. how the promoters the eat. People. That's how the promoters eat. Yeah. How you think the promoters eat? Because the people love him, they gonna keep booking him. Yeah. And he ain't true. Put me on the ticket, baby. Sold out, baby. All sold out shows. I ain't never done no unsold out show. Learn today. Mm. Pokeball. Pokeball. You gonna learn today. Never. Mama, that go there, man. Everywhere I go. <laughs> I, I booked a show the other day. I had four days to do it because they canceled my show for the weekend. Guess yeah. what? Sold it out. Sold it out. But learn today. The, the fire department came there. I, I told the fire department, you want something to eat? <laughs> 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 you want something to eat? You're hungry, bro. You gonna learn today, man? You want to eat? You want to eat? We're killing the game, it's bro. It's a different world. We're killing the game, and they love it. They love it. But you talking about BT Awards and stuff? But how many times BT Awards recognize Southern Soul? I don't know why. Have. I don't know why. Right. But they gonna but, take guys like me to force the issue. That's why I deal with the the hip hop artists. That's why I deal with the other people because they're in markets that I can't reach. So guess what? Now I'm reaching those markets. So now when I reach those markets, I promote what I'm doing to promote the other guys that are just as hot as me. And we can get it. Like me and King George, we can kill the game right now. Ain't nobody in RB dealing with King George right now. I'll put that on everything. You put one up to him. He can't mess with him. But I got it. But the next that's thing, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm, I don't that's compete. Real. It is. I don't compete. I just treat. We 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 go out here. We work our butt off, and we don't get the consideration these other mm -hmm. guys. They get all these big ass homes yeah. and and all this stuff uh, because the uh, one thing is about they 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 solitude our stuff. They they block our stuff. They they see the numbers we're coming with. They try to block the arenas. They try to block those things for our thing because they feel that we are not capable of doing what we do. But every so show we go to, we don't have no problem, we don't have no, no fights or nothing. Look at that shows. Fights. People really? getting killed. Kill getting killed. What, 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 what? Come, come on now. That's real. Let's talk about it now. Yeah, it ain't lying. Okay. Let's yeah. talk about it now. It, 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 you it, ain't never heard about no son of show, nobody getting shot out. What, 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 what's going on? No, it, so my thing crazy. is this. Um, if you're gonna criticize, or if you're gonna show somebody love as black people, if you're in a position to help people, mm -hmm. why don't you do it? My thing is this. Um, I can be in Beverly Hills right now. Mm -hmm. Kelly Bass's, boy. Understand <laughs> <laughs> me. I can be there right now. But get what? I take my money and I put it back in the hood. Mm -hmm. I take care of my family. I make sure all my people straight. My grandsons on my my stepdaughters and my kids, I got four kids, you understand me? Lost one over the year, God bless you. Yeah. But at the same time, all my money going to take care of my fam, man. And uh, and then I do my music. But other than that, if I can get the bag that these niggas getting that ain't taking care of their family, <laughs> learn today. Listen, the K, they call me Poke Bear Remix is at 28 million views, man. These views is sick, man. Like, Poke Bear, excuse me, 1.9 on, million. It's millions of views. Million. And, and you're not nominating this guy? Like, like, and that's the same that's thing. Crazy. PMC said the same thing. Like, it's something about Boosie. All the Southern 
Artists, that's period. what I was just about. They don't show no love. Yeah. We were just talking about it's Pilsen. They don't show no it's a love. Southern love. They're not, they don't show they're, Southern. If you don't establish that relationship with those people, mm-hmm. it's you're nothing. Um, I got guys out the East Coast that I, when I did the uh, Brook, uh, Buffalo, New York, I did Atlanta City. When I went out there, they said, like, hey, we want you around here. I'm like, well, um... Oh, we waiting on that hard to find. Mm-hmm. And that was just all makeup. My thing is this: uh, you go out there, you turn this city out, and then it's like they here they come out with a new artist. Mm. And you like I mean, that's that's what I've been dealing that's with lately. That's crazy. Because yeah. when I first came in, when I was even though I was at my, I'm 53 years old. You feel me? Look good. Yeah, I'm 53 years old. But at the same time, these young artists that come in now, it's like. And they're getting more views than certain as me. And I'm like, I pay my dues. I done my show. I almost killed myself on the stage one day. What? Mm. In New Orleans. I what happened? Off, I, I saw off that. The stage. How did that happen? Y'all need to ask you about that. How did that happen? Them feet. I, I, the speakers, you just can step on the speaker. Right. I went to step on the I speaker. I saw that. And my, my you know, was going forward. And the speaker moved, and I went all the way down, bro. And God, God had to be there, with bro, you, man. boy. He mm-hmm. had to be. The security guard, big old guy, mm-hmm. big old guy. I ended up landing on him, mm-hmm. and he, oh, yeah. And I was able to spin around and, and land mm-hmm. on the floor. Like, Whoa. Yep. <laughs> well, I could land on my head. Head. Yeah. yeah. Head. Mm-hmm. Could have landed on his head. Yes, sir. That's the same thing that um yes, I don't sir. know if, if it's the older. Um, entertainers who just feel that way about the speakers and stuff because the same thing genuine did he 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 fell too I I don't know he jumped jumped down he be be doing a lot of extra stuff I don't know he jumped down he jumped down down one level and then fell down the other level yeah and and kept singing you ain't even seen him he fell down uh huh he tried to hold on to that the guy who was doing the sign language same thing happened to me same thing happened to me yep I was going, I was, the show did you, was going you, great. Did you keep going with the show? Or did yes, you, sir. I jumped I on it. So, mm-hmm. you going to learn today. The show was going on. You seen the video? Nah, no, I didn't see oh it. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, it's going to pop up. They got up there, yeah. They, they got the whole yeah. video. I got up, because everybody thought I was, they thought I was going. And the comments, and, people loved it. And, what what made me feel so good when I seen the video, what made me feel so good? You could hear the crowd. Is he okay? Go get him. Mm-hmm. You can hear women screaming like, oh, go get him. No, Lord. Like they're crying. They care about wow. you. Bruh. They, they care love about you, man. And when I got up, they were like, everybody would ah. You should Lord read the comments. I was man. like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Couldn't believe it. But that was after the show. I'm talking yeah. about right. doing the, you know, I was just. But did you hurt yourself at all? No, no, ma'am. I was. Okay. He had a show the night and said it all. I did that. I did Texas the following day. Yep. Did a whole full show. Yo, oh, wow. so, and and, and, and the first thing I said I went yeah, out I showed it. <laughs> I went I out y'all there. seen that video I say, right? y'all seen that video uh, y'all thought I was dead <laughs> <laughs> everybody out man. yeah man. we turned that dog on thing out that was oh, awesome man. do you think what you think would happen if somebody came up in the south and started doing their own award shows Ozone do you tried think it. they'll oh, get yeah, they the, tried it. and it didn't work they, um, well, just didn't keep award going with shows. It. And you know, I do Jackson, Mississippi. I do the award show. Um, I've been nominated for Arts of the Year, three three different things. But they do it in Jackson. Um, but I'm but talking create one as big one. as big and uh, try to get as big as BET and this, that one. That's represents. the one I thought would take it there, but. It they didn't, didn't work. It never happened. Um, oh, you so think it's the city that they hold it in? Um. I don't blame them. I, you know what I mean? It, I don't blame them. I think they're, you know, you know, so only some. Whew, how, can I, how can I explain this? Huh? <laughs> when, uh, Politics. Um, when you're dealing with people that put you in different situations to where you know you're successful and you know you can do the same things the other guys do and you present it and they deny it. It's kind of hard to tell artists like Poke Bear, hey man, you can only, I'm like, what? Well, why we're not in Los Angeles? I mean, you know, why we're not in, you know what I'm saying, Las Vegas? I mean, I mean, 
That's we're, big. We're, we're selling more tickets than these guys. I mean, um, I, I got rap. I, know, I got rap artists that I love. That's, that's they call me Uncle Pokey every day. Yeah. And I be like, "What you doing this weekend, nothing?" And I'm mm. like, "Nothing." And I'm booked. And you're booked. And that's crazy. And I'm like, so, "What?" Yeah. I mean, but y'all not even working like me. I'm working my butt off, and I'm trying to create something for future. I'm like, mm. I told you, I'm 53. I cannot be doing this for the rest of my life. So my my plan is my this is my plan. Um. I started my own company now, so now I'm trying to help out other artists. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this last album. This is my last album. After I do this last album, it's going in straight promotion. I got my company. I'm gonna promote other artists. What's the name of your company? But I'm a JSP. JSP. Okay. JSP. Josephine's son, Pokey, and um, and I'm I'm, I'm doing that, that company out of faith of of the people that I don't build a relationship with. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I do this, um. I'm doing. I'm not just doing songs. We're doing movies. I'm. I'm doing my my next movie about to pop out right now. You know what I'm saying? What's the name? Mama. Mama. What's the name Mama of it? Mama can't sleep. Got it. Mama can't sleep. And um, uh, and um, I'm doing that. And then once I do that, once I do the movie, I'm going into other things, and hopefully I can hook up with other guys in bigger lanes mm -hmm. that can take my. Still to another. I'm going to talk to uh, Rick Ross, uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Boosie. Yeah, I saw you had a picture mm. with him the other day. No, uh, well, that's my nephew. Uh, mm. I, I basically did with him, but he's so busy. Yeah. Um, I done reached out to um, other R and B artists that I, you know, what I'm saying Urban Mystic. Me and him, me and him got a uh, single finna come out. Um, you gonna make it happen? You've been in this business too long for it not to. Yeah, so yeah. We, I got a lot of stuff in to come out. I just let everybody know in the world that, you know, just just wait on it. It's coming. Uh, I got in the next few months, you're going to hear a lot of stuff from Pokey Bear and a lot of collaboration with other artists. Uh, with my boy Bad News. We just dropped one. Uh, it's so sick. We just dropped one. What's you the know? name? We killing the game right now, man. Name we, is on. Uh, why you play with me? Hmm. Are you play with me? It's, it's it's a song about the industry on how you mm. take advantage of a person. Really? Wow, that's hard. You made me go look. Where I the definitely gotta here, go ahead. The loyalty. You take advantage of a person, and, 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 and at its lowest, mm -hmm. you, you you take advantage of a person at its lowest, and and you use that for your access to benefit for you, which I which I don't know. It's really, very common in this industry. It's common. And um, and then after the facts and you see what's going on and you realize that you couldn't stop anything and you realize why you can't work with me no more, you will understand this song. I'm, and I directed this to a lot of people. Mm. A lot of people. Um, you, will not, who, you will not know who I'm talking about because I ain't missing no name. It's a good one. We but wasn't going to ask. Know. We was not If you know ask. me personally, you're going to know exactly who I'm talking about. Mm, yes, Man, bad news. I want to ask you about uh, good times in Detroit. Oh yeah, man. I want to know what 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 inspired you to go up there and do your thing. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you the craziest part about that, man. Shout out to uh, Big Fifty. You know she got my music in her movie. Yeah, Big yeah, yeah, story. yeah. So she always making the DJ. You know she got pull. She like the queen pin of Detroit, the real trap queen. She go in these folks spot and send her workers in there and make them play my music. Wow. So it just so happened it got to a, a radio station. These people call me, they like, man, we don't know you, but your name buzzing in Detroit. We want to fly you out, we want to shoot your video, and we're going to put you in an Airbnb, and we're going to pay you $1,500. I said, to shoot my video? <laughs> you know? I said, what you, I said, so what y'all getting out of? He's like, man, we just love the song, we just want to be a part of the video. Thank God. Wow. God. So I, get, good, I get to Detroit. Man. That's God. These folks got a whole, you know, they, they big on them. Bike, buy, bicycle yeah. riders out there, man. They had a whole like eighty people, a whole bicycle group out there. They cooking me food, man. They got me three, four balls. They said it's a ball of Hennessy for every day. Wow! Out there three days, they said you got your big ball every day. They cook for me every day. And the name of the song, you know, good time, you know, Grandma Macaron. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they cooking the macaron, the collard greens, just about family having a good time wow. like back in the days. You know what I'm saying? They loved you. You know when you were coming up, man, you'd have family reunions. You know what I'm saying with your family? Yes, you know what I'm saying? You don't get that no more. But Kids don't sit at the kitchen table and eat no more. They watching their phone in the living room, eating and can't focus. Yeah, real Telephone took over, man. Real I mean, what man, them guys knew they were gonna have a good time. Man, we just had a dealing ball. with you, man. And That's listen, crazy, right? And I got out there and go back like he said. I built relationships. 
I did seven shows in Detroit last year alone. Wow. Seven shows. <laughs> that is alone. crazy. It ain't but 12 months in a year. That man, that is crazy. Yeah. And and Poke Bear, what I mean, what is which which is that defining city for you that you know when you, they go they love Poke Bear. It's like everywhere is just the same for you, ain't it? <laughs> you like you you uh, in every damn city. <laughs> Everybody love I mean, every damn city. I'm in there. I'm not pronouncing Every city at home. I man. cannot say that, bro. They, they love you. Anywhere I go, man, I can't even go to Walmart, bro. I go to Walmart trying to be low key, man. And it won't be like, oh, you look just like. I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my brother. I that's can't my go brother. to seven. I can't go to gas stations. I can't. It's getting ridiculous. You know, I'm feeling Michael Jackson status right now. You feel me? <laughs> understand but, me? You understand me? But at the hey. same, same time, I mean, I appreciate the love because the people love me so much. They know what type of person I am, and I take pictures with them. You might got pictures of me right now at the Walmart, <laughs> right now, or at a gas station, <laughs> or wherever I was caught at. It's a picture. I don't so discriminate. What? I don't, you know, that's just how I am. And my people love me because I love them. Have yeah. a fan ever touched you where uh -oh. they walked up to you yeah. and was like, um, <laughs> something you sang or something you said really affected changed their, their life? Changed their life, affected yeah. them. And what did I they just, say to you? I just done, um, let me show you something. I just done, um, this young lady called me, her son. Yeah. Just had a uh, brain surgery this morning. Mm. Wow. And uh, she called me because she said that he wants to talk to me. Wow. wow. And you don't even know him. A kid. A, a kid. kid. Right. How old is he? I think she said eight. Hold on just let me get let me get this uh, text message right here. That's crazy. That's big, Pokey Bear. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Check this out. Just read it, baby. Wow. He just want to meet you. What did it say? They bought to FaceTime you now. He he uh, going into surgery this morning. Look how little he is. We played the video. He just wanted them to see Yeah, him. he sent me the video everything. Sent him the wow. video. Yeah. And you did <laughs> Yeah, I did. I called him right before surgery. And spoke to him. Mm -hmm. He was so happy, this probably. Morning. He listened at that pokey bird. Yes, he and he's singing and dancing. He said wow. it's his number one song. And, he had and what did he have to say to you? He loved me. About talk. What you got over there? Let me see that. And he went to surgery and everything. Wow, they see him after surgery. Yeah. That's crazy. Read that, yeah. man. So he yeah. went through surgery. Yep. Man. Okay, so this is today. So this is the type of people I reach. It says, thanks y'all so much. He's super excited. He got to see his favorite blues singer. I'm so happy you ma you made one of many of his wishes come true. Can send pictures of you two together today, if possible. We're going to do a collage. But that is so great. Touching, well, that's touching, man. How, How did it make you feel? It's about the six one. Mm. I never thought I'd touch kids. Mm. Mm. I can imagine. But it show you that, to me, it show you that you have a purpose. You have a greater purpose on yeah. this world. We don't always know what our purpose is, but God have a plan for us. And it's good that you're able to see your purpose right now. You know what I mean? When you can touch kids to this point where you're able, you don't know. Thank God he came out of surgery and he's doing better. Man. And, and, and when he come out of surgery, they call him immediately. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you know, they, they, they reach out to Pokey Bear because at the end of the day, he inspires this, this mm -hmm. kid. This kid's four, three, four years old. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man, because you just never yep. know. You never know, bro. You never know who you're going to touch in the, in, 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 behind these microphones, on these stages. Every time you look around, man, you don't know what your purpose is. And I know you got stories yourself, but it's mm -hmm. like God has a backdoor purpose that you don't even know about to go down. And then you Real wonder talk. how your unexpected blessings come. Um, yeah, 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 there, there you like go. That. I treat it like that. I'm like, um, I just, I, I just, uh, older people. Mm-hmm. 
to be sick. It'd be a lot of older people too. But, mm -hmm. And they reach out to me and ask me to perform on the phone. You've had that happen to you Bef before. Before they, you, you, yeah. is this yeah. when, they, when they about to pass away? Yes, man. Wow. I done lost Ooh, three or four. Wow. Died the next day. And that's Died your the fan, the day. first time you've ever. And they just they want to held talk on to just to just to one see his came perform. from uh, Albuquerque to my show. She said, "I can't do your show." My mama wanted to come. I had a ticket, but she passed away the other day. Wow! And she just wanted to say, "She, I was like, oh, what the?" Just yeah, wanted. Man. I just wanted That's to see wrong, him. Bro. I just wanted to see him. Mm -hmm. I just wanted. I, I just wanted to. To, to, to talk to him, right? You know that was my that, and, and you know that's she crazy because you that never is. you never know you she never would have knew. It like the day man we pulled up at a store. Okay, it was a man hanging out his truck. We didn't know what was going on. He fell. He fell. He like, fell. We ran. Uh, to old help old him. man. I ran up that man. I'm like you all right? He like I just need help getting up. I picked him up, put him in his seat. You know what I'm saying? Wow. The other people, two, three people around the desk. Look, look at it. Look at it. We shot the whole old man. Just we ran right But there. that's the difference between y'all, man. Now, that, pick that man up. You know what I'm saying? That, that man sitting in the seat. What's that was a gas station. We, we, we was at a gas station. station. Yeah. So he was like, I, 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 my legs are not the same. I just, right. I, I'm okay. I said, you sure? Don't we want you to drive. He was okay. Man. See how the blessings comes. Let me tell you mm -hmm. something. Um, when it come, one thing about this music, I mean, uh, forgive me for getting salty. No, you're salty, fine. But I got a heart. Um, no, we 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 got a heart. Um, when it comes to music, bro, I choose an outlet to to keep me out of trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I yeah. Used to, I used to do all the wrong things. I, you know, uh, if, if, if you see my documentary right now, you'd be like, <laughs> <"Shut up." laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I know that was gonna go hard. Yeah. You want me to be honest with you? It's gonna go hard. Be honest. But uh, on, God has put me in a position to. Who, Lord? I never thought I'd be in a position to be. People actually look up to me. What? I. I'm so blessed right now to get the, the relationships I have with people. I ain't know this dude from Adam. I mean, he, Man. he didn't have to like me. Yeah, yeah y'all linked up. Come on, no. I don't even know this Y'all linked up. Yeah. And he reached out to me. The first thing he said, Unk. I said, Unk. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. They ain't gonna do it. 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 That Unk, like, who's that dude? Hey, I think school, I think Unk a little better than school. <laughs> School, oh, school, school. school. I'm, I'm school. school. But once we, yeah. once we met and everything, I was like, this is a cool young man. And he was under somebody else, so I didn't want to, I said, well, if you're going to do it with me, you going to do it with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you call me up, we're we going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know front, I don't like no stunt with me. I don't like no stunt. Anybody that work with me, they know I'm, I'm 100. I'm 100. If I call you my boy, you my boy. That's how I work. Females included, that's why I work. I got a lot of female fans and business partners that I deal with to help me with my situation. I have my nephews and they work with me. I never, I've never had a security force because I'm surrounded by family. Never That's needed all. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never went to a venue where I had to have security because I'm surrounded by family. When I step on the crowd, I say, I don't need no background singer. Who my background singer is? Bam. Hmm. Pokey Brown, let me ask you a question because keep, I keep thinking about you in this movie driving this bad Regal. This nigga had that. that <laughs> Come on, my Regal? That old yep. clean. Uh, I was like, God, that, that wasn't a Regal. Colors. 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 Man, that thing was so what clean. What year is it? What year Bro, is it? Like, like a 79 colors. 79, 79 wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, 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 I do. Don't, don't sleep on me. Come man, on, man. that whole clean. When do you see my bourbon? When, when I drop my bourbon, my bourbon drop what? Another. What movie is that though? Another couple yeah, weeks. movie, Side Piece. Side Piece, show sure. I watched it the other what night. What is this new movie? Now I'm finna do my Denzel Washington. Mm. Oh, you finna go in? Boy, you better learn uh, that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going in with my Denzel on this. Because I'm older now. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You go yeah, 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 yeah. So hold on. Can, can give like me a little piece of it. Give me, give, give oh, me a little piece of it. Oh, he's an actor now. No, I want to see it. I want to see a little bit of Denzel right now. So you said you don't want to. 
You don't want to be a part of this? Now you know who built this up. Who built it? Say it now. If I built it and I put the fortress on it, who's the captain? You or me? Mm. Man, what's up, mm. baby? Oh, oh, I'm right, 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 right. Boy, you good? You gonna learn tonight? Man, that, 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 that movie gonna be about. It's gonna be about some shit, bro. I'm going all the way back. I'm going back to my kid thing. I got some. I got this young young man. He's gonna do the acting for my kid thing, and um, then I got another guy. He's gonna do the, when I the middle age. Yeah, middle age. Middle age. Yeah, and it's it's all about uh, how I grew up. I'm Pine, I told him from Pine Grove, Louisiana. I'm from the country, and uh. I grew up with cows and hogs. And, Man. And uh, it wasn't nothing about the city. When is I, that but, coming out? When is it coming out? I, I'm doing it now. It's going to take us. It's going to take us. Hold on. Oh, no. I, I think about next right? year. 24. Okay. They said 24. Man, Pokey Bear, man, you, man you, you're a damn star. You're a damn star. <laughs> I don't feel like a star. I don't give a damn what you say. <laughs> I don't uh, listen, nigga. I didn't interview a lot of niggas, man. <laughs> I told him, I said, uh, that nigga bad, man. I said, I said, Poker Brain Man over there, man. He like, huh? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what I told him, I yeah. said, what a minute. I said, he said, Poker Bear. I said, nigga, you know how long I've been trying to get Poker Bear? I got to get Poker Bear. But you know, know what Poker Bear told me when he both been coming over here? He said, man, I ain't coming over there by myself, man. Hey, when they coming, he was like, man, I got something going, but I'm coming. I knew, I know how God works, man. I'm too nitty with y'all. Yeah. yeah. I'm too nitty. I'm going to end up at the house eating barbecue and no. eating steaks and nigga. No, I ain't sir. coming, nigga. I'm family, nigga. No, sir. You know what I'm right. No, sir. <laughs> uh, when News said he, he was out here, I said, what you got going? He said, you going to, I said, I got your back. We're going to work that. We're going to rock that's it out. How, see, that's one thing about building relationships. That's see, when it. you build a relationship, you don't burn your bridge. Not at all. I'm always going to be there. Man. But if you burn your bridge, let me tell you something. It ain't yeah, never. Nah. It ain't never. Been, and I got Poker Bear yeah, number in my phone. Go back that song. Play with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I got Poker Bear number in my phone, and I promise you, every time I called him, he answered and talked to me and told yes, me sir. what was going on. But believe it or not, he man. told me what. He, if he wasn't here, he gonna say, "I'm over here, man." I always a call and ask him where he at. Yeah. Anyway, and it don't never like I me, do, me, uh, me, me yeah. and Poker could be together twenty times. We might go to the studio twice. It don't always be about music, man. It's just about building relationships. Building relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Family, kicking yeah, it, man. Family. You just wanna be ready. Man, what I want to do for him that. is to set up for he can have a market so he can work <clears> when <throat> I'm not around. Yeah. So once we did that and we got that established, did the video. Once we did that video, I, I say, go ahead. You got it. <laughs> you got it. He said, now you got to go sell yourself. Man, I like that. Now he's been working ever since. Hey, well, us ever since. since. New every every week, since. new now. Hey, I have to call him, <laughs> ask him what he's doing. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm, shit, I'm in Birmingham. I'm, 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 that nigga working. I'm in Atlanta. I'm in that nigga working. I told you. Be a relationship. Let me tell you something, bro. In this business, it's not what you know. It's who you know. Who you know. Who you know. And I'm not trying to say I'm better than anyone else but when it comes to this business of southern soul and blues it's kind of hard to go past me and I've been telling all these people this for a long time because every time they go past me they got to come back to me and I'm like oh, well god damn what are you what, 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 what took you so long to get back what the, why are you with that way you, you know what I'm saying so I then got to a business where I done peeled my capital now Mm -hmm. Yeah, my yeah. Up there. So now my capital up there now. So now I'm like, okay, she is. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> 53, up. 55, I'm retiring. I told you. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. 55, how old I'm going to retire. And I'm going to run my own mm. establishment with blues. And I'm taking it overseas, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Learn today. I'm setting that up right now. You heard it from me, Big Poker Bear. It's going down. Man, mm, mean that. It, I'm, I'm, I'm doing stuff right now to build relationships with people that's going to put me in positions that I need to be in. And um, a lot of people try to keep you in this box. I keep telling these people about this box. And I say, nigga, you can't keep me in no box. Mm -mm. It's a different thing. I, I, I do music. I say, nigga, I do gospel. I do a church tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I do gospel too. I do gospel, R&B, country. Play with me. Mm-hmm. Man, from, from 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 Sir Charles Jones, y'all. Every time I see y'all, man, it seems like y'all just growing. Yeah, and shout out to Big Uncle, man. Well, yeah, like y'all just always look Sir like you having a good, 
Good Sir time, Charles bro. Charles Benya. Mm. He's been Mr. here. Mr. May. Sir Charles Benya. Mm. How did you and him even meet? Because he know. <laughs> <laughs> How did y'all meet? You already right, right, know, me and Sir Charles, we, we, it was like we were brothers at first. First time I met Sir Charles, Sir Charles say, God damn, nigga. You head smoking. And you know what he always tell me? Look, when I When you were show. smoking, I know you ain't good at when you were smoking. Yeah, he out. know it. I did yeah. a show. It was cold, but it was an outside show. Bro, I was out there, I did my thing. Killed him. When I come out of the show, Steve was coming off my No, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Ah! So I say, I ain't never been no nigga that's Steve come back. We been friends ever since. Wow. I ain't never seen no nigga. Hey man, they love Steve. each other like oh, brother, man. I know it, I know it. So I say, I ain't never seen no artist to do that. He said, boy, you the next thing. That's when I first started. Really? Mm -hmm. They call me Pokey. Hey. Uh, Big Pokey Bass. Come on. I first started. Yeah, wow. yeah early that's on. That's the only song I had. And uh, older woman and uh, uh, what was on my head? Can't, no, no, I wasn't even out yet. No, no, um, I did, uh, what's the other one I did? <sighs> That's kind of Do people ever one. request you to sing those first songs that you did? Yes. Um, when I go to shows, they be like, can you sing this one? And um, I got my, um, my shit set up right now to where the, um, when they ask me for something and I got time, mm -hmm. I do it for them. Mm. Wow, for you to be like like one of the you, you your name is going down in history no matter how you look at it. Hey, don't tell me like I'm that, just bro. telling don't you. Don't like that. Like, I'm being real. Don't like that. Don't tell me the truth. Don't blow me up. Man, come on, man. Y'all can't tell me like that. Don't 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 what what do you want people to remember you by, Pink Pope? I want them to remember me that I was a, a fun person to be around. Um, never hated on no one. Um, humble. Um, I just never going, never to, never burning bridges. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't burn bridges. Um, even when I'm, even when I'm getting messed up. I mean, I got screwed out a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? But I never burned the bridge because God does things for a reason. Mm -hmm. and you can't go against God. So my thing was, you know, Pookie, you ain't got the money to even fight him anyway. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's real. <laughs> they give me 100, man. I ain't going to want to. <laughs> you're not complaining, nigga. Right, right, so I was right. like, shit, you're going shit, you're gonna go with your other move. So, That's uh, it. I've learned just to accept things that I, mistakes I've made and the, the gains I've made. And and I take it as, as one, man. I'm, I'm going to be the same person from beginning to end. I will never be different, no matter how much money I got. Wow. Okay. I love the way how you hold on to God no matter what. I, I and love my Lord, Lord Jesus. I pray to the Lord every morning. Every morning I wake up, I put, do this, and I take my shower, and I look up at the Lord, and I pray to him. Thank you for everything you got for me, my house, my cars, my, my grandkids, my babies, everything. My Come on now, my daddy yeah. still living, 83 wow. years old. I'm still, still living. 83 years old in my house right now. My, uh, my friends that I met and... Uh, that's home. I, I just take it as I take it in because a lot of people ain't in that position. They ain't in that position. No Same sense. thing to you, uh, bad news. Like what in this journey, man? Like people see you, they see the move, they seen you do something no other rapper has ever done to go over in the Southern Soul and and live and be successful in it. Like what do you want people to remember you by when they think about you and your legacy? I just don't really. I don't really want to remember you by now. I just want to know anything is possible. Yeah. Don't give up, man. Don't matter what nobody tell you, you can't do it. What God got planned for you, man, no man can stop, man. There's a lane, wow. baby. You know, you know, I, you know how much I get criticized by it, but I'm booked every week, so evidently I'm doing <laughs> something right. Lane. Exactly. You know? um, when, when, I, when I get calls about the criticism that he gets, I tell him to keep pushing because if they ain't talking about you, you ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. Right, right, right. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. You better work. That's what you were. You better be like, what the fuck going on? They ain't saying nothing. Right, right, right. That's what you were. 
There you yeah, go. That's when you were. I know they talk, they talk about me all the time. He a drunk. <laughs> he on <laughs> drugs. <laughs> he doing all. He fell off the stage, dog. You see him fall off the stage. Off the stage. <laughs> I told you he was on drugs. I don't <laughs> Yeah, all that. Long that, 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 that you Hey, next show, fool. Yeah, <laughs> off the meat rack. <laughs> And then, then he walk on stage, that's how he walk on stage. What do you say? Y'all down that label, y'all down that label. I'll tell you, I know if they do the calculations right now, the most talked about blues are his, his big funky <laughs> barrel. Yeah. Big funky barrel. Because I go, I do everything, and they see me di- different places. They be like, he was with Boosie, he was with Rick Ross, he was with Snoop, he was with. Th- how the hell he do that? <sighs> Big poke. Which one, but, but, but you, you, it's funny you say that because uh, uh, Snoop, man, it, how did you end up running into Snoop? I don't know. They didn't run into He ran into me. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big poke and barrel. Look how he look like that. How you ran into me, nigga? I don't look for now. Now, nigga. They come looking for me. So where? Where, where, <laughs> where, 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 where was you at? When, when they found him, where was you at, man? I actually have never met Snoop personally. Okay. But he went live, and me and him looking at each other on the phone like, hey, boy, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was tripping. I was like, what the fuck? They gonna call me. What? Yeah, I just wanna let you know, boy. Keep doing what Keep you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, this is But that's big, man. That's big. It get deep, man. That's big, man. That fucked me up, boy. He knew and exactly since who then, you was. Ever since then, that nigga answered my call. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> that nigga not That fucking back on to keep it real. Fucking back on to keep it wild. That nigga answered my call. That nigga ain't answered your phone. Goddamn. Hey, Snook. You better answer the call, nigga. You never heard it, Jay. I'm just being honest with you, man. Say, hey, bro, I don't argue, dog. You know, bro, when I went to Rick Ross, I did his baby. I did his baby. He got his show this week. He got his show. Mama birthday party. Oh, okay. really? Yes. Yeah. Yes, at the mansion. We at the mansion, and Rick Ross sitting there. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. I'm yeah, in mean, now, nigga. I'm shaking my ass. I'm in the cloud. 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 I'm <laughs> the next day, I was like, okay, it's gonna be a good day tomorrow. I was like, hey, so, so next day, I was like, okay. So I see the interview. Rick Ross walking around. Yeah, I'm walking around here. Making sure. Poking the bag. 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 What the no hell? Call. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with that. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a call, shit. But you like, why? Well, I mean, but, but, but he paid me. I right, hold on. But the thing I is, you killed it, it, though. I'm not saying that man. But not. you killed it. I know you killed it. Did I kill it? I know you did. The man had a broken hip. He was shaking so hard. <laughs> Walking around that table, same like hell. When I walked around, I was like, "God, thank you." And I'm like, "Okay, here comes that meal ticket." <laughs> here comes, here comes. That don't come. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> no, I got that back. <laughs> I swear to God, boy, I put that on my. I tell my face, nigga. You, nigga, you, I know you did that. And then, he, and then you gonna go viral the next day doing my video saying. I'm willing to make sure my mama ain't with poker bear. Somebody was shooting me some poker bear shells. Like, ah! He thought Bucky Brown and got him. Hey, man, this oh, man is crazy, bro. I don't want my mom to be the guy with Bucky Brown. This man is crazy, I'm bro. I'm like, what did he say? Wait a minute, what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say the next day? What did he say? He said, hmm. Look around him. Make sure. Bad, My mom, poker <laughs> bear in his motherfucker right now. He's like, yeah, I'm looking. And I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, poker bear in his I'm like, what guy? Okay, what's well, on the ground? Poker yeah. bear singing out on the ground. I'm going to get signed, nigga. I'm going to get signed, boy. I thought he was going to call me. He's like, yeah, nigga, you ready? Maybach. Maybach. Maybach music. Maybach music. Hey, get one call. 
<laughs> Nigga, you gonna learn today. <laughs> Take that and go with it. I say, God damn, I'm mean, just God damn. I'm just gonna leave, God damn, all right then. I'll tell you what, when I come to them gay bitches, I'm gonna tell that cool. bitch off. <laughs> when I come back to that bitch, it's coming, I'm driving through that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Got me fucked up. <laughs> the hell no. I, I was like, what? I did all that. Nothing. Then it broke your hip. And like I said, he paid me. Don't don't worry about it. God got you. He paid me. He paid me my money, so I'm good with that. But I was expecting. Lord, at first I thought maybe I. If it'll blow, yeah, hope it'll blow. He can't hold it. Down. He can't hold it. He can't hold it. If it'll blow. I know when you got the call to do his mama part. That's, that's what I knew. It ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Ooh, it ain't easy, man. It is not easy. I, you tell all these artists, you can meet them all day. <laughs> it ain't easy. Bo <laughs> Boy, <laughs> it is not easy. <laughs> oh, man, I work my ass off every weekend because I do everything and everybody tell me, I am you so good. You all good. I'm like, well, damn. <laughs> what a bad guy, goddammit. What the damn bad? What the get the bad? I want the Beyonce bad. <laughs> This bitch dance right now, she do it. <laughs> I'm gonna put your fuck ass on this thing, man. You got me fucked up. Ah! Out of this shit, man. You got me fucked up. Everybody get paid. Everybody get paid. Damn. Man, that's man, crazy. What, what, what else I have to do? What, what else do I have to do to prove that I am the man? The man. Did, did you ever do that? Did you ever do that boosty bash with y'all? That one where y'all be going down there? Uh, uh, uh. Can uh, you uh, just uh. say boosty bash? <laughs> oh. You be going, don't you? Yes, I've done the boost. He done did the boost bag. You ain't did, ain't nothing. You ain't done. Hey, a pokey, big pokey done did it all. But then what he told me a while ago, Wait, I love it ain't easy. Some <laughs> yeah, yeah, you love some boosting. Yes, that's your boy. That's my boy. That's his nephew. Nephew. Nephew, man, he looked out for me. <sighs> Boosted real. Did the show for him and um. Uh, Mom showed up. Grandma. I met all the family. All the family. And uh, like I said, I was like, oh, we's home now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? But I just said, yeah, it's on now. Ooh, going down now. It's going down. <laughs> you so I got down the show. Like, yeah, it's going down. It's going down. Yeah, it's going down. It's going I know what happened this time. All I seen was Maybachs and all that. <laughs> leave it. Leave it. Goddamn complex. <laughs> I say leave I'm it. I'm in my goddamn top. No, I was in my, my Cali Escalade. I'm in my Escalade like, uh, are we going with them? Are we going to follow them or what? Yeah. <laughs> so, they go. <laughs> so I'm like, what the fuck going on here, man? I'm paying them. I'm good. But I'm like, I thought we were going to do it. Some more. Do something. Last time I seen Boozer, when I went out to Atlanta, I went to his house. Oh, he yeah, that's a nice house, house he got. That's my nigga. And, you know, we go to his house, I go to his house. He showed me, do the gratitude, boom, boom, boom. That's it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Wait on it. Wait on it, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm a type of brother like this. I mean, I respect every man and everything you do. But one, one thing I do love, I love me some me. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think I'm going to go cocky every now and then. I ain't lying. No, nah, you ain't lying. No, no, no. Hell no. no. So, when, when, a, when a person showed me that, I'd be like, oh, oh for real? Man. Oh, well, shit. Man, look, man. I'm good. Man. Yeah. I, I don't ask nobody for shit. Everything I got for paid for. Nothing. I don't bother nobody. I don't need nobody to help me. I can do my own shit. But I would love to have that. Collaboration, mm -hmm. <laughs> but at the same time, don't treat it like like you know like. Like you doing me a favor? Scratching, I'm, I ain't doing. Man, that. I ain't gonna. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up for y'all. I have one more question. Okay, though. go ahead. Who you got? Who you, who you, who you got? Really no, this question is for both of y'all because it's more of a current um, situation that I see what's going on right now. I see a lot of people are doing veneers nowadays and getting rid of their goals. 
Oh, they put the more white teeth in their mouth. The teeth so damn white. Hey, man, so I'm me, man. what y'all think about that? I'm from that? Alabama. I'm from the South. I love gold. I'm I let them do South. them and I do me. That's what we do from the South. We, we, we wear gold. If we I take these out, I'm going to get Alabama. some more gold. Are we rocking really? gold? Yeah. Because I see people from gold? out there, they be changing it up too. No. But see, they follow the new trend. I, st- I set my own. We old school. I'm old school. <laughs> okay. I've been rocking golds for the last, what, 10 years? I don't, I don't rock no they come with the plaid and all that. I don't do that. Mm-hmm. And no white tea. And no white tea. They cool. Don't My old had gold before he died. My grandfather had gold before he died. The two golds, the little, the two yeah, 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 oh, yeah, the yeah, 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 I remember the little 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 Uh-huh. On the little 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 uh huh. Right there, right, right there. there. And what I said on good time, Mama Mama Ryan was one goal. One goal. I hate a ghetto queen. That new shit they doing now. Yeah. That new shit they doing now. That's some new shit. I never rock with that. When I got my goal, what my nephew say? My nephew say. No, I talk to you. Oh, get the, I'm gonna get passing up. No, 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 no. Don't get that. Don't get, get that goal. The goal. He said. He said. We've been rocking goals ever since. He had them for me. Hold on, we're gonna get a new set, eh? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're gonna get a new set. But you know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, you see yeah, a lot yeah, of people go. getting that. Everybody getting, them, everybody yeah. getting that right now. I don't fuck up with them. I love because my goals. Because some people say them goals, some people say them goals messed up their teeth underneath, so they had to take it out. That's what I hear some people say. They need to get real gold. Yeah, and you see them veneers, they messing them up under yeah. there too. Like some of them veneers, them folk teeth be bigger than block, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got sick teeth. Like you got better. They got big. You got sick yeah, teeth. Right right now. They got your whole, the, the back tooth, the back tooth, yeah. all the way way back here. You got your sick teeth. How you see that big, I seen man? Nigga that, I, I seen a nigga, he had a, like, a, just recently, like he been killing it. Like, like yeah. your horse teeth, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Man. Let me tell you something. Man. <laughs> um, I'm old school. Um, I would never change. I wouldn't give a damn if they come out with a junior. I wouldn't give a junior. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I'm old school. And when I was a kid, my uncle had gold teeth. Mm-hmm. So when I grew up, I wanted to have gold, gold teeth. teeth. <laughs> like before my dad went to prison, he had a mouthful of gold. My brother so, was 16 with 20 gold. It was like a natural gold. thing. It was like, my baby's 16 with 20 gold. Wow. He's 16, you look at 20, 20 gold. 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 Let me ask you this. I got to ask you this, man. Like, and I asked both of y'all this, but Big Poke and Barrel, who, who do you listen to Like when you listen to music? What I listen to music? Rap. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, who? 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 Top three artists of all time. Uh, top, three. <laughs> top 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 three. <laughs> number, <laughs> number, <laughs> number three. But top three. Number three. But top three right now. Yeah. Of all times. Uh, right now. Right, right now. now. Gig and Jane. Lil Baby. Okay. Lil Baby. Lil Baby is my hottest artist right now. <coughs> uh, yo, uh, yo, uh, yo, got it. No, 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 your money uh from uh, from Memphis. Um yo not money bag yo money bag yo that nigga bad ain't he man. Love you, money bag yo. And uh my new favorite artist. I think I know what you're gonna Lil say. Dirk. Oh Lil Dirk. Dirk. Yeah. You like Lil Dirk? He love Lil Dirk. I love Lil Dirk. He love Lil Dirk. Why? Just somebody stop. He reminds me of my nephew. I don't know, he just What about NBA young boy? You get I don't Ooh. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I will never, Ooh. ever, ever mm. stand for that. I love Baton Rouge. And I think, to me, he's putting a bad image on the kids that are growing up in Baton Rouge. We do not grow up like that. And he is putting a uh, situation where you you don't do that, but he's winning. He winning. I can't get mad at him. They love him. They but love as him. in me, I'm a grown ass Mike. You gotta keep it. You ain't gonna tell me. You gonna slap me. You gonna do this? No, 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 no. That the beef he has, he need to shut that shit down. He need to get shit together and build families instead of destroy families. Cause a lot of kids follow him, and they do the shit he do. They, they do the shit he say. He that ain't good. He seemed like he was gonna be cool with Lil Durk. Then he just turned cool around and about dissed him. He just something. dissed him again. And I ain't yeah. giving I ain't giving Durk no goddamn promises either. 
They can get it too. I know you can get it too. They can get it too. They both got to get it together, man. Because it's all about the future. I don't I don't choose sizes. But my thing is, I told you I like Lil Durk because I like that new song they got. I don't like no NBA young boy. You know why I don't like NBA young boy? Because he talk about <laughs> I don't like that. I want my kids to listen to that shit, man. And I'm going to tell you to your face. I like real rappers that can talk about truth. That can talk about uh, building. Talk about what's going on in the world. Talk about what can happen and we can do it better. I don't want to talk about no nigga that talk about how we're going to kill somebody. Or how you beefing with this other guy that we don't know who the hell you're beefing with. <laughs> Yeah. And now we go, we're going to get on your side? We're going to beef with him too? <laughs> no. We ain't doing that. Man, that's why I throw the hell everywhere I go. Louisiana, nigga. Love. Yeah. We don't do no no, no, no battling, uh, shooting people, killing people, and, and representing on record, man. I wanna that would make it look bad because the police, they, they listen to that. They, they charge you with that. That's real. And you got niggas in jail right now behind your motherfucking ass. And you ain't never stood up for that. <laughs> in your life. Your ass is sitting there in the goddamn room. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here, boy. Mean that word that you heard that. Man, I got to ask y'all about uh, the fitting all thing. That, uh, oh, man. I got to ask you about it. I don't because, sell drugs. Listen, <laughs> and, and don't say, I don't sell drugs. No, I'm don't talking about the people that are dying. I don't sell drugs. People that are dying on this fitting all, man. How can we drug. help these people to stop them from dying on this? Because they're addicted. They're addicted, man. You so know, they ain't going to stop. It's 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 going to get worse, man. No, you can do it. No, you can do it. It's going to get worse. It's better in my city. It's bad in my You sit there and you want to. They die every day from that thing. There's no, nothing right. you can do Can't about that situation. It. But as much as you're addicted to something, if you see everybody around you who's taking the same thing you are taking and they're dropping like flies, see why would you keep taking see it? See how easy it was for her to say that? Here's how easy it was for them to say that. Hit that old. Hit that old. Yeah, yeah. And be looking for some more. They want some more. Ready to die. Who did you say that? That motherfucker. Hit that old. Mm-hmm. And look at your ass like <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they gone, baby. They gone. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's over. over. They're not, they're not, we ain't gonna be able to stop. We're, we're, not, it's no, over. we're in the age right now. Um, to where no, I am like I said, I lived in LA for eight years, you know. I went through the crack epidemic. You know? mm-hmm. I actually be an ex drug dealer myself, so mm-hmm. so I'm not ashamed to admit that. But I really ashamed of what I did in my past and what I see now. Mm. In my past, it was more respect. It was more about you deal with the, the, you know, the people you know that did it. Right. Now, no. No respect. It's, it doesn't change now. Um, when you when you went into problems back in the day with that game, it was more like... Uh, Situation, different hoods did they different mm-hmm. thing. You can't mess with, you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Now it done got to a point. Now they got they got these phones and stuff and social media, bro. And people show your location, bro. Mm-hmm. It's and over. You're done. You're and, done. Uh, oh my god! I mean, it's it's ridiculous. And um, it's the game has changed, and um, a lot of people. I really thought. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't thought those games old. I ain't doing that shit no more. I was like, man, folks, this one was crazy. I wasn't doing me out. I wasn't doing that shit no more. I wasn't doing that shit no more. I went home and seen uh, seen an old girl pull up. I'm like, what? She pulled up and and, and stole. I thought that shit was gone. I thought it was gone. I said, man, you gonna go home when I thought you gonna have your dinner. But I didn't think it was that bad. And now I see it now, man. I'm like, whoa. Man. We did. Then we got new drugs now, bro. That shit killing people, bro. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. take it one time and Lord, it's over. Life. You dead. It's over with. I seen a brother and sister die. Oh yeah, it together. happened. It's real bad. They found man. them both dead together. Damn. And my family, bro, it's real talk, bro. That's what I mean, I'm saying. I seen people, a lot of shit. People man. don't realize. Baton Rouge. Let me tell you something. Baton Rouge melt pot for that that dope, bro. Real talk, bro. Real talk, man. And, uh, right now. We in an emergency situation because um, now it's like it's uncontrollable. 
Ain't nothing you can do. It's a murder in Baton Rouge every two days. Damn. Yeah. Every two days. Every two days, somebody getting shot. Boy, boy, I tell you, man, it's crazy. And it's it's a small city. It's everything's combined. Yeah. Mm. And um, it's really terrible, bro. It's really we're really in a bad situation to where guys like me that try to step up and speak. It's like. It's, Let me ask you something. And no I'm, one listens. It's like, on deaf ears. I gotta ask you. You know, back in the day, they'll have a. A, a stop the violence tour, or, or they'll have a they, they'll come together and make a we are the world. They, they don't do that no more. Hold on, niggas hold their money. They do it. When? Okay. They do it. But five people get shot at the goddamn doctor <laughs> thing. <laughs> Damn, he ain't lying. it's that bad. They can't even get together and try to stop the violence. LSU try to do a championship. Four people got shot. Listen to me, man. It's real. I just you gonna learn today. That's crazy, it's man. Crazy. Yeah. Niggas ain't even trying to stop. They ain't got words. You know, they, they, they try to keep it a black. They ain't no black thing, white thing, too. Because them LSU students smoke them on. You gonna learn this, right? They? Man, thank y'all yep. for coming on the show, man. I yes, know sir. people. How can people get a hold of your bad news? They're trying to get a hold of you. Hey, man. Bad News 334 on all sites or News Williams. Instagram, Bad News, you know. Bad News 334. Let's work. Big Book, Don't look at them. They the same thing. It's big poker bear everywhere. JSP too. JSP. Yeah, Y'all already know how to get along with me. You understand me? Big poker bear JSP. Josephine's son. Pokey. Man. Who, who gave you the name Pokey? Oh, you going to get him on I've been uh, poking since I was a kid. I know, but who gave it to you? Your mama, my daddy? Mama, my mama. They say I used to. This is what they told me. They say I used to poke in the crowd. Put shit in my mouth. Oh, okay. wait a minute. Poke it, man. It ain't right. That's what they said. They used to, I used to be picking this shit and putting it in my mouth. It ain't right. So they call me Pokey. Poke okay. it bow, man, it. from everywhere. Oh, y'all get rid of me. My new video about to drop, My Queen Different, it just reached 100,000 streams on Spotify. Oh, man. The video starring Nelly Tiger Travis. So we, we, we man. working, man. You know? mm. Man, I'm my so My Queen happy. Different. Yeah, you got a My, queen different. my queen different. Your queen man. different. You damn right, right she is. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I've yeah. had oh, so we... much fun with y'all. Oh, man, we kicked <laughs> it. We do this every time. I ain't never had a radio station. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm That nigga love it over here. So we be kicking it, man. man. Everybody come here, man. I ain't gonna lie. We have a good time. We eat. If you catch us, she'll cook you something to eat. We know you coming. Oh no! What I'm saying is, um, whatever we can do for the station, and man, keep coming back and sending people us. over here, man. I'm we gonna bring these new albums coming out. We got the new album, the new movie. Um, everybody streaming. Uh, Big Poke Bear JSP. Don't go if it's not a blue check. Don't don't go on that page. We got a lot of fake pages. It got mm -hmm. a lot of fake. If it ain't the blue check, don't don't mess with it. But nowadays, no. people buying blue check. Yeah, yeah, blue check, yeah but but it's still nine out of money. <laughs> Damn, nine out of money. Yeah, the Lord work. Yeah, yeah, but it still it still <laughs> makes to where they they real name on there. So so we know it's your real page. They know so. my page. Yeah, yeah. man. But at, but at the same time, um, I appreciate everything y'all done. But right, get, let me yeah. have a little bit of that side piece before I get out of here. One, one I want a court. I can't play. Can't play. No, no, you know they gonna flag me. We want to live. Live. Is that they gonna flag me? Give it, give give me a little bit. Of course. I can, you can't have a course, a side piece. A side piece got to sneak up on you. Ooh. <laughs> I left home, baby, to be with my side piece. I left home to be with my side piece. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Ooh, -wee. Man, oh, thank you, man. Been another great oh, segment. Man. The boss oh, talk one-on-one with the boss and talk, man. And we out. Man.